What's up? So I got a package from Japan, and I gotta say, postal stamps in Japan are cool. And uh, there are custom declarations here. 10, 20, I paid more than that. I paid like 30 something dollars here. Uh, maybe this is what they had to pay. I don't fucking know what. Maybe it's tariffs or some shit. I'm covering it because I don't want you to see my address. So there's who it's from. I don't give a shit about that. So uh, this is an S video cable. I'm going to open it up and uh, show you some improvements on my GameCube. So it was packaged in bubble wrap, so very well packaged. And uh, as you can see, if this will focus, this is, hang on, is it going to focus or no? There we go, it just focused. So as you can see, it's OEM, uh, and the reason why I bought the OEM instead of literally anything else, because you can get them cheaper, these are $32, is because these are just, you really can't compare these cables to anything else. Uh, and that's the one problem I have with the 6th gen, is, uh, the 7th gen when they came out with the PS3 and, uh, the Xbox 360, those used HDMI, though, with the Xbox 360 and PS3, it wasn't right away, actually, no, it was right away with the PS3. Uh, and HDMI is hard to fuck up, it's a very good standard, you can get very good quality cables for dirt cheap, under 10 bucks, uh, but... With the 6th gen, and under the 6th gen, OEM cables were go-to, because otherwise, you'd be stuck with cheap shit. So we're going to hook these up to my GameCube. Uh, fun fact, GameCube's using unofficial composite. And if you want to know what I mean by uh, cheap, so this is an HDMI cable. It's very thick, very good quality braided. That cost me under $10. But as I reported in my last video, this is the component for my PS2. And it's spliced with composite. So I'm going to have to get an OEM for that because this was literally the only good quality cable that I could find. And this was 13 bucks, but again, it's spliced with composite. So you do need a dedicated, whether it's composite, S-Video, or component, it has to be pure that cable. Uh, that means it can't be spliced, otherwise it ruins the picture quality. And uh, most of the ones I found for the GameCube were that were not OEM. Uh, originally manufactured is basically what that means. Uh, it had composite spliced in, because of course it did. And this is a step up from that. Uh, components are too fucking expensive, so I'm not spending 300 fucking dollars on those. Uh, most likely I will mod my GameCube and put a... HDMI port on it someday. I don't fucking know when. Uh, I want to do that because this one has the digital port. But for now, we're just gonna unhook this and uh, set this up. And let's get our remote. And I'll show you what that looks like. So we want to scroll down to S video. Will this let me click? Okay, so it's on S-Video. There's no signal. Give me a minute. I did before I plug in the S-Video, I'm just going to give you guys a baseline of, uh, well, how this works. Give it to, uh, I'm doing this with my phone as usual. I don't have an actual thing. So, some things right off the bat. It is a good picture. Uh, for cheap piece of shit cables, uh, which is compo composite, yeah. Uh, but I will note that uh, it's not the best picture and it is a little blurry. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, it doesn't look like it is. So we're going to turn this off and we're going to hook up the S-Video. Hook up the S-Video, actually I also want to show you this. Uh, the OEM plug is much thicker, much more robust, as opposed to the knockoff, as you can see, there's no Nintendo symbol. This is much cheaper feeling. Uh, it's also built differently, as you can see. It's basically like glued in place, I think, maybe. Whereas this one, you can see it's got a clip, so it might be easier to take off or take apart. Also, the cables on the OEM are thicker and a much better quality as opposed to these thinner gauged ones. Uh, and this is the problem with 
cheap cables that aren't original manufactured if you're going with a 6th gen console or lower. So let's hook these up. On the GameCube. And already I can tell you it is much clearer, much sharper quality. Uh, hang on, let me steady my hand here. The text is much sharper. Uh, as sharp as you can get with this video. Uh, but it does look much better. Uh, even looking at the screen, it, it might not be that noticeable. But uh, there is a sharpness to it. That you that isn't on composite. It is a step up. Uh, so it was worth getting OEM cables. And uh, that's pretty much that. Update on my GameCube. You got one more game I have for my GameCube because I only have two. Because if anything's going to benefit from this video, it's most likely going to be this. I also have to do a fan mod because the fan's dying on my GameCube. So yeah, that is much sharper, much better picture. Uh, as opposed to composite, which was blurry. This is much easier to read, even sitting up close. And uh, this disc actually has two games on it. You got the Master Quest and the original. Uh, both of these are N64 ports for the GameCube. And that's pretty much that. This video is a decent upgrade in picture for basically what's old school. Uh, and of course HDMI or component would be much, much better and much more welcome. But fortunately the HDMI would be the better option because it's cheaper. Uh, but I don't have the money for that right now so that will be upcoming.